Finally, we are in Belgium. Now to the library. I traveled to Saint Vit, Belgium, with my sourdough starter from Ushuaia to visit the famous sourdough library and meet Kade Smet, the librarian, and give it to him in hand. I think it's somewhere here. Coat? No, the coat. Oh. Oi! Car! <laughs> So, Carl, here is the sourdough starter from Ushuaia. So we will have to put it in a jar. Okay, let's do it. So, as I told you, this is the sourdough starter that I built in Ushuaia at the end of the end of the end of the world. And as you know, it's flour and water, but I used some snow melted to use it as water and some flour that I milled with my own grains from Patagonia. But how did you bring it over to Belgium? It's really easy. What I did it was to dehydrate it. So I took a few spoons of this sourdough starter active and then I added a lot of flour done with the same grains. When I dehydrate it, so I lowered the, the fermentation and I put it in this mini glass, this jar, and took the airplane and came here to Belgium to visit you. So okay. here it is. So what do we do now? Now we should rehydrate it. Again. Okay, let's do that. We need to rehydrate this sourdough starter. So we add some little water in there to start dissolving it and bringing or waking up all the microorganisms that are in there. I use a spoon, or well, the other side of the spoon. <laughs> now we need to mill some flour. I use your stone mill and my grain from Patagonia. So now we add here the sourdough starter in the flour and we add some water. And with the spoon, we start mixing again, always by the eye, trying to get this texture, which is kind of... Applesauce. Applesauce, good, like a puree. Some more water. Mix in and... What do you think? I like it. And I think we're done. What? Now it is. <laughs> okay. So, shall we? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go and put it in the fridge of the library. Come on, you can put it there and we will keep it for as long as we can. Wow, wow, it's an honor. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. All right. I still have something else for you. This is your certificate. Oh. This is the guarantee that your Simado will be kept safe here. So congratulations. This is for you. Thank you, Carl. Thank you very much. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have the sign the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment, and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. Well, finally, the sourdough is in its fridge. So now please tell me and tell our audience about what is the sourdough library and what is your role here in there. I am the sourdough librarian, but I'm also responsible for this building, which is the Center for Bread Flavor. Now, the sourdough library is a non-for-profit initiative of Piratos, and we do three things here. Mm -hmm. First, we preserve the biodiversity of sourdough. Two, we protect the heritage of baking because when we collect the sourdough, we ask as many possible questions about what flour is used, how is it made, how do you bake bread with it, documents that you had to fill in. And then last but not least, the fact that we have all these starters here and that we maintain them with the original flour, or mm -hmm. like in your case, you brought me the grains. Mm -hmm. So we will feed the starters every two months and as such, we have a backup in case something would go wrong in its place of origin. Mm -hmm. And what about the water that you use? We use the water from the tap here. We have excellent quality water here. 
Okay, so since we're here, I would like you to give us a little tour with the iconic sourdough starter from the world. Okay, so this one is coming from Denmark, from a baker called Henrik. And in March 21, Henrik calls me on a Saturday morning and he says, Carl, I have a problem. My baker has used all the mother dough in the bread. It's already baked and I lost my mom. No. So I came to the library, took his flour, fed the sourdough and sent him back his sample. So this is an example of a backup, but also it's a very nice rye sourdough from Denmark, which has already been like six generations in the bakery. But Carl, why is this jar empty? We lost this one because the owner could not send the flour anymore because the farmer who was growing it was a spelt sourdough. The farmer stopped growing. Oh. So the baker lost the sourdough and we couldn't feed it neither. But I said that we preserve the biodiversity. So what we do is the sourdough that you gave me mm -hmm. will now, a piece of it will go to the university from Marco Gobetti in Bolzano. There they will take the sourdough, dilute it and put it on Petri dish. They will grow the microorganisms and after 30 days they have a pile of micro of, of petri dishes like this and then they will isolate mm. the microorganism into these tubes and these tubes are then preserved in a freezer at minus 80 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important because when the farmer will decide to grow the flower again, we can take the microorganisms, bring back the starter culture feed it with the flour and resurrect the sourdough. Okay. This is the most important thing that we do here. Mm. Okay, incredible. How did you enter in this sourdough world? I entered with number 43. 43. This sourdough was brought back by a colleague from San Francisco in 1989. And when I started to work for the company as a test baker in the lab, this was the very first sourdough back in 1994 that I saw in my life. With this sourdough, I made my very first sourdough bread. I smelled and I tasted for the first time in my life mm -hmm. sourdough and it was love at first sight because the first time you never forget. Mm -hmm. So what you see here is all the flowers that the owners send us, like you did, you brought the grains. They are here, it's your flower. And as you can see, we have already prepared the flower in smaller jars because every two months, we feed, but in this case, once a month, we feed half of the library from one to 74 and from 75 to 146. We feed them three times in a row until we obtain 500 grams before putting it back in the refrigerator. So Carl, what is this barrel that calls my attention a lot? Well, this is actually the hooch. Oh. So may I remove the- corner? Yes, of course, go, go ahead, smell it. It's like, you will see, it's very intense. Ooh. It's, it's in there since 2015. Yeah. So, it's, and you see that the level is already much lower. Yeah. That's because of there is a lot of water that has been evaporating. We call it the part for the angels. Mm. And so this root is really intensified. Yeah. It's very complex, but I, I think like, oh, it's amazing. Eh? Fruity. It's fruity, but I, there is also this barik, the, the wooden wood. flavors is yes. there. Yes. This is gonna be a fantastic wow. addition of the Levin Grand Cru. Okay. You don't have to be afraid of the hooch. When the hooch appears on a sourdough, it means that the flour has been decanting. Now, that hooch, you can throw it out, but what we do here is that we store the hooch in a wooden barrel and we leave it there for a couple of years that you can use to flavor a sourdough, but you can also make like a mix with uh, some olive oil to have uh, vinaigrette, or you can use it together with Prosecco to make like a kir. You can mix it with a bit of beer to increase the flavors. There's plenty of possibilities to do something with the hooch and not throw it away. For us, it's not a hooch anymore, but we call it Le Vin Grand Cru. Well, thank you, Carl, for the tour. You're welcome, Everything. Ramon. It was a pleasure to see you again. I will promise you I will take good care of your sourdough. Thank you and thanks for Have this safe Grand Cru. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, which Oof. was my luggage? I, I leave that up to you. No. Bye bye Ramon. This one. Mm, da, 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 da. Come on. I'll take this one. Bye. Bye.
I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.